Hello, this is our last video for direct measurement. This one is about reading a vernier caliper. And with the vernier caliper, we're going to be talking in inches, inches, tenths, hundredths, thousandths, and thousandths. So you can see that it measures to the thousandths place. This is a picture of a vernier caliper. So you can see the moving jaw, the vernier scale, and then the main scale. So I'm going to teach you how to read that. And you can see that we've got the it broken down. This is kind of how it's going to look whenever we're reading them. This one shows what's in that box right on that top um, caliper. Or like the top caliper, not really uh, that one. But we are reading this one, um, this on the next page. So this bottom right. Okay. So it's telling you how it's broken into the different divisions, but I think if you'll look at the steps, you'll see what's happening. So because there's a three, we're at three inches. And then this is, you're going to find some similarities here with the vernier caliper and the micrometer. And then these numbers are the tenths right here. Those are the tenths. So we're at eight tenths. We're going to count the spaces, right? There's one, two, uh, three spaces to here. Whoops. Oh, come on. Right to the zero, right? We're at three spaces. And so you're multiplying the, the tenths by the point one zero zero. Your spaces, once again, times point zero two five. And then we're going to see where does the line line up. And this one is times point zero zero one. So the line that lines up exactly is at 15. And then, of course, you add those all together to get your total. And let's see, I've got that on. I guess I didn't have the total on here. So it's going to be um, three. Wait, I've got to line these up. Three point. I must have cut off part of the picture or something. I'm not sure. Oh, what is this thing doing? Let me try this again. <laughs> my 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 things are disappearing. All right, so I'm gonna have to pause. Okay, so I wrote out the numbers while while I had this paused, and then you can see that we end up with a measurement of three point eight nine zero inches right we're measuring inches once again so hopefully you will pick this up pretty quickly if you're understanding the micrometers and i put the steps here again so that you'll be sure um, when you're trying to work these out on how to get there all right so we are at two inches so we point zero 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 and then that's four tenths, right? That's the last number before we get to where it's lined up here at the zero. So four times 0 0.1, let me scoot that over a little bit. And then our spaces, we've got one, two, three spaces. And then last, where does the line, where are these lines lined up here? And it's at five. So right there's the spot. I feel like my numbers aren't lined up very good there. So 2.480 inches. And then on the next one, we are at zero inches. And then we're at seven tenths. We have two spaces. Remember, we're looking to this line. 
so 2 times 0 0.025. And then where do our lines line up? And it's all the way over, let's see, where are we? There's, I think this is the one that lines up the best. That's at 11, 12, 13. So our measurement is point seven six three inches. So that one was one that's less than one, and that can certainly happen, of course. All right, we've got two more readings to do for the vernier calipers. And so on this one, we're at one inch. And we aren't to the tenths place, so we're going to have zero on the tenths place. I wrote that wrong. <laughs> I wrote it in the tenth spot. That's a one zero zero zero. Oh boy, sometimes. And then I've got one, two, three spaces. And then I have to see which line lines up the best. It looks like to me it's at 10. If you're ever off on that, just really watch it, look again and see, like if you're practicing on my lab, because sometimes you, you, you think, oh, that looks closer. And then I was putting the total, geez. To zero one zero. Okay, let me try that again. So we're at one point zero eight five inches. Okay, this is our last measurement. <coughs> so you can see the three. That means we were at two. We're between two and three inches. So two inches equals two point zero zero zero. And then we're at nine tenths, right? This number. Oops. And let's see, we've got one space. I know this would be better if you had one of these in your hands and you could read it, and that would be great. But I feel like then if you ever did have one in your hands to read, it would make a lot more sense. So even though this is, you know, lacking a little bit in that respect, I'm hoping that that would certainly help you if you really had to do this on the job or in class or whatever that might, whatever might happen. Our total is 2.931 inches. Okay, so that is the end of all these direct measurements that you have to do. You're going to read rulers and um, tape measures, micrometers, and vernier calipers for this, for this lesson. Bye, everyone.